I find a nice book or magazine, I'll just buy and read up. But other than that, I will only read like newspapers. I won't. Yeah, I'm not really into reading. Uh, yeah, every day. Uh, I, not really. Um, I don't really read books. More of comics and newspapers and articles on the net. I, I read quite a lot. Uh, if it wasn't for the internet, I'd probably read a lot more. You know. One of the magazines I have here that I just bought is uh, the New York Review of Books. So I'm very interested in books, yeah. I don't read that. I read very often. <laughs> very often? Yeah. Uh, uh, Once or twice a week? Yeah, a yeah. couple of hours a week around yeah, about. Home, a comfy chair, bed, on yeah. the toilet. On the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the book I'm reading right now called Seize the Day. Uh, I haven't actually started it, but... What made you like, you know, from recommendations or...? Yes, uh, my favourite blogger uh, recommended it. Who's your favourite um, I, I don't know the name, no one knows the name. She's actually an anonymous person. Uh, she's based in LA, Los Angeles. Her, her blog link is uh, dearcoquette.tumblr.com, I think. Oh, yeah. okay. uh, I usually buy my comics or if I'm just, you know, bored at home, I'll drop by the library and get a book or something like that? The library? Most of the books I read are available and most I just have to reserve them. Um, well, I find Amazon uh, very helpful because if you if you find a book you enjoyed, you can read uh, the reviews of other people who read it and then you find out that they like other books and which you may also like. So one thing leads to another that way, you know? Well, I read a lot of fiction, but I also read a lot of textbooks. I, I buy textbooks from a shop, uh, a bookshop that sells basically university textbooks. Yeah. Yeah, for knowledge. knowledge. For me, it's not really, yeah, because, yeah, it's, it's just something you do in your free time. Then I prefer to do other things. Than reading other things that you do, like like life, uh, like sports, sports. Oh, you into sports? Yes. I think it's incredibly important. Um, without without that, we don't form a vocabulary, we don't improve it. So it's um, critical to read. Ah, uh, definitely. Uh, well, I think it helps you to improve your language. Uh, and I think I did that when I was trying to learn Tamil. I mean, that's not my mother tongue. Uh -huh. And I was asked to read a lot, and I think I improved. And as for English, I think it applies to any other language as well. So, and also not only just improves your language, but also keeps you, uh, expands your knowledge. You know, just it doesn't have to be about current affairs, but it can be anything. Maybe in, in, expands your vocabulary, for that matter. When you read, you put yourself in other people's like cultures and like scenarios, and then you don't, you're, you're less judgmental because you're like can can put yourself in other people's shoes, and you're more empathetic in that way. So yeah, I think it's really important. I think I think too many people don't read because nowadays a lot of people prefer to like watch TV or things like that. Shorter stories. Yeah, it, you, you entice them story. by adding in things that like they like. So sort of advertising to so the, the younger generation. generation. And get the right book. Yeah, right that book. they actually like. Um, it's something I suppose has to be instilled in people when they're young. Like uh, I, I was taught poetry in primary school when I was less than 12 and I've since then I've always loved poetry and I've even gone back over the last few years to poems I learned when I was a child like the deserted village and the elegy in a country churchyard and I did their incredible poems but um, I suppose you just have to get people to start young that's the only thing you, you cannot force adults to do what they don't want to do you know yeah, I think, I think it would be good to read more. But it also depends on whether they actually enjoy reading or not. So what's important is to cultivate a love of reading at, at a young age. Um, when I was very young, my mom brought me to the library like every weekend and we just, we just read a lot of books there. Yeah, it's very difficult to encourage people. It usually starts at home. If parents read, then children usually read as well. So I think parents need to encourage children to, to read. Um, we could have more events, you know? Like more events which talk about certain books. Like a book club, but kind of massive event. 
or you know, there's like certain countries have this system where you know they pick up a book and then they finish reading it and they can leave it like in certain locations where it's like a drop off point and then the next person can come off and take a book for free and then when they're, when they're done with it, they drop it off at the next drop off point. Oh, so, okay. yeah, so like certain cafes might sign up for it or even like certain parks, like even, even they just have a box where you drop in the books, you can pick it up. An ideal day for me is actually just like curling up in, in my in my room on my sofa and like having a hot chocolate and reading a book. So for that moment you're you're just lost in that the world of the character, you know, that the author has painted. And um, it helps you see things in a different light as well. Like certain books, like I, I like reading uh, philosophy books as well. So it really helps you examine like things from a different perspective. Yeah. Imagination. Ma yeah, imagination. Yeah, imagination, like story people can just choose what they want. Like they tell the basic thing, then you decide the rest. Yeah. Uh, maybe schools can do s programs whereby. Back in my time, I used to have a reading program. Like if you read this kind of books, right, you get like a star or a present or a certain. Or maybe they can try to bring back that because that would probably encourage reading. 